Hi guys, and welcome back to Vintage Story, a small world series. We are now on episode 14. This is me, Kat. I hope you guys are doing great and enjoying the series. Um, so let's go ahead and just do a brief recap. So on the last episode, um, we found out that my, um, my pigs, they had babies. So we have four little cute, beautiful piglets. Um, our trees grew up. We have our K-pop, our bald cypress, our redwood that you see me um, sitting next to. It's just very tall and very beautiful. And we'll go ahead and take a look here really quick. Oh, hold on. Wrong button. But yeah, it's definitely a beautiful tree and it's very, very big, very tall. I'd like to get some, um, you know, some seeds from that and definitely grow some more. Um, so yeah, so our K-pop is over here. It grew. Um, we only have one K-pop, one redwood, and we have some pine. Um, we have some oak, and then we do have maple. And uh, yeah, maple, pine, oak, K-pop, redwood, and birch. So we do have quite a variety of um, trees, which is great. Um, and then on our last episode, we did um, we did do we had a mining area right up here um so we did do some copper but we ended up finding an extra copper um like the copper was i believe around here but there was one around here or something like that so we basically mined out um two copper locations before we ended the episode so honestly that was pretty great um we did kill a bear as well um and then we also chat we also had a medium temporal storm instead of the normal um, usual um, heavy storm so that was really nice so that that was overall a pretty productive um, episode on today's episode um and then on the previous one before that before i jumped on yesterday on the last episode um i did um pretty much use almost all the honey so we do have our jam um, taken care of um, but if the trader could possibly um, have more honey later in the future I'm definitely gonna um, take advantage of that and harvest some more berries. I don't believe I did all the berries. Oh yeah, and then also on the last episode, I showed you some things that I did off camera, which included, which I hope you guys do love. Um, I added path pathways around our place. You could take a look at the map. It does look pretty cool. Um, we have it basically going to our animal pit, um, our charcoal and our pit kilns as well as up to the berry um, farm and then also up to the trader which is um, pretty convenient I would say so we did the I did all the lighting I added um, the oil lamps that we had in our storage um, basically added the dry fence um, as a stand and then added our lamps so we're fully lit around our home and our animals and up to the traders um, you know I made some fishing baskets oh look chat we got a shell. Yes. We need all the shells we can because that's for lime. Um, I did before um, I jumped on the recording. I actually um, got a starfish and I'll show you that. Um, it's just a white starfish. Um, but basically each shell can um, grind into two pieces of lime. So honestly, that's a win-win uh, for us because um, we don't have any lime stone, limestone. Um, I would like to make a few more baskets because we do have quite a bit of lakes around us. So we have one over here by the trader, but I don't really want to go all the way to the trader to collect my baskets. Um, we can definitely do some over here by the um, the pigs and the chickens. Um, and then, like I said, we got all this area right here by the home. I'd probably like to access that. And then maybe even this one um, past the chickens and the um, the pigs or whatever. I don't want to go over here in the big ocean, but I mean, I want to do some baskets close to home as well as um, make sure I might gather some reeds off camera, the cocktail roots, and actually plant them in our water area here and here. That way we don't have to venture far to collect our cocktail roots because if you remember um, when we were typing in the cocktail roots in our, um, in our um, survival handbook, we can make poultices, which I didn't think we could because, you know, normally I just use horsetail and reeds. But, you know, in our situation, we don't really have like forest floor and like heavy, heavy forestation. So we don't really have access or we don't basically have any um, 
horsetail here. The only way I'm getting it is up there on the garden once in a while. If you do have like plowed um, soil and um, there's grass that grows, you know, on the plots that don't have any crops on them, sometimes you'll randomly get horsetail and that's the only way I've gotten it. Um, so yeah, so it would be nice to use the Enola, which we have right here, chat. Um, we have about 31 pieces. So what I want to do is create a little garden with this and then make sure we have a lot of cocktail roots in our, um, you know, in our storage, like right here, we have quite a bit. Um, so we can combine that to make some poultices. Um, and so let's go ahead and take a look at the shell that I did get. So right here, I got a sea star, a latte, a latte um, sea star. So we're going to go ahead and add our our other shell. So we have volute latte. Okay, that's a plain. I was going to combine them, but they're different colors. Like latte is like a chocolate light brown color. So you can't combine it because they're different colors, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's okay. Um, I really don't care. I probably, instead of wasting this inventory space, it probably might be best chat if we just grind this down and you know turn it into actual lime um we'd have to take out our um our bones and our bone meal because you can only have one thing at a time but um yeah i should definitely grind these up because that way it'll save you know that's five slots for nothing you know i'd rather have one slot and it's just you know lime so i mean if the trader ever sells lime you already know i'll be on on top of it i'll, I'll definitely buy it but i haven't seen lime yet he did have um like quick lime but i need like regular regular lime i think i saw quick lime one time i don't know if it was he wanted me to sell quick lime or i can't remember if i could buy it i think he wanted me to sell quick lime the building's material trader but i don't have access to lime so how would i you know how would i do that so we got 10 um for a barrel we do need 50. um we're gonna go ahead and put the bones back and then put this in our chest of our, you know, materials or whatever. Um, where do I want to put it? Probably like an animal loot one. Um, so we have our bone meal. And we have our lime. Because the bone meal we could use for the garden. Um, you know, on top of the terracotta or whatever. So yeah, we don't have any birch yet. Because I used all the birch for the... Um, for these oh no this is bald cypress but i used the the birch for this you know it did take up a lot of um, wood for that um so anyways how are you guys doing i hope you're doing well um so now that we've taken care of the jam um i already made the bowls we have the lighting so i'm good with lighting um i made crocs when i made the bowls i made the crocs as well you know, because after I did the jam, we had no more crocs. Like, literally, I used all eight for these jam. But look at the the um, expiration. I mean, it's nine years, 12 years, 13 years. I mean, it's going to last us. So we don't have to worry about that. Plus, we have all these in here. So we're pretty good on food. Even if I didn't hunt anymore for a while, I think we would be, honestly, we would be fine. Plus, you know don't really know how much longer we could actually play in this world you know knowing that there's only a few caves we can go um i don't really have strong armor we can't use a teleporter to go to another part of the world you know to make our you know stay here a little bit more longer um we're very limited to our ores because we already collected as far as i know remember all we have is quartz but we don't need quartz we do have some in our storage and you know, yeah, we can pros. Oh, I should put the prospect in our thing whenever we're in the caves. Um, I could make an oven. Um, we did get the fire clay, um, so we could make an oven because we did harvest um, not all, but we did harvest some of our flax. So we do have a little bit of flax, which you saw me feed the chickens because they weren't brooding for their eggs, and I really want to have baby chickens to have more chickens. Um, so we do have a little bit of flax and a little bit of spelt. So I could t potentially make some dough to make some um, either. I could definitely do meat pies. It doesn't have to be fruit pies. That's the good thing. Because if you don't have if you don't have any berries at the moment when it's winter, that's okay. You could hunt and then turn your um, meat 
and you can make meat pies. So you can definitely use this, um, the red meat. Um, so these are gonna spoil. I'm actually wanting these to spoil so we can turn that into rot. Um, yeah, so these ones are pretty much gonna spoil. They're gonna spoil. And I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put together as much as I can because it's, you know, it saves inventory. Um, these ones are still good. These ones are all cooked. These are the bush meat. Um, but these ones are definitely gonna get um, rotten. And that's okay with me. I think I'll put them, oops, I'll put them at the bottom because basically they're going to rot. And that, and that's honestly fine. I'll put this at the bottom. That's like, if I don't have any food, whatever. Um, so yeah, so on this episode, um, I want to see, um, because you know, the ew, she, I tried to milk her. Um, and you know, she was lactating, but she just had her baby. So she was kind of like stressed out. Um, I'm hoping cause I did feed them. Let me go grab some more, um, grass. Um, I'm hoping that she like, I don't know, maybe calm down and maybe they'll, I mean, I'm technically running low on, um, on grass. So I can't go crazy on grass, but I can put a couple portions, I guess. Um, that has, okay, that's not too bad. Um, I was wondering if I should need another pickaxe, but that, you know, I, we don't really have ores, but if we see something, I guess I have a pickaxe, but I want to see if, if the you will give me any, um, milk. Probably not with our luck. I can definitely hear drifters. Um, there was some here, but... Oh, there's only one, but I could hear, like, a lot more. So I'm thinking there might be, like, a cave below or something. Okay, the ew is over here. I want to be close to her because I want to... I want to try and melt her. I'm really hoping she's not cranky. Okay, she's too stressed. Well, that effing sucks. And she wants to murder me, um, as you can see. But I want to feed her because I want to milk her. It's the only reason why I'm feeding her. I'm hoping she'll, like, let me milk her. Okay, so my my shovel is going to break. I'm going to grab another shovel and go back home to put the bucket away. Because um, I don't have another shovel. I used pretty much my shovel when I was doing all of these dirt paths. To dig everything, um, to dig everything out. So we'll just put that in our storage. Let's go ahead and put our barrel back because she did not. She did not want to get. Okay, here we go. My my mouse is being dumb again. The sensitivity. I touched it and now it's like I don't know how to make it stop acting crazy. Um, how many gears do we have? We have six. Let me just put the gears in my hand. Let's go ahead and see what the trader has. I don't know. Um, it, I don't know if the stock has, you know, restocked. I don't know if his store has restocked. We can just, you know, check. Did that not go up? Okay. It's just finicky. And let's check you out. What do you have, sir? delivery of new goods in six days so he must have just refreshed um he just has polished rocks and um i could make these things like planks i don't i don't want plank i don't want anything that i could make myself um i already got plaster and i don't even know if i'm gonna use it so i don't want to get any more and i can only sell him these um crates um, we do have copper, um, can't do anything about tin at the moment because we don't have any more tin. Um, I mean, I could make them this, but like I said, that's, um, going to be, you have to use the copper plates. I believe it's only just one plate, I think, because it's a copper lantern. I can't remember if it's one or two. Um, let's check. I don't remember how many. 
I don't remember how many. Okay, so it's just one plate, but basically one plate equals um, two, two ingot bars, but that's basically 40 pieces. So like I said, that's a lot to sacrifice when we don't have very much copper. We have like two stacks and a half about. So we can't get anything from him. What does the other one have? Anything good? Okay, so he doesn't start over for one more day. And we only have six gears, so I don't need his seeds like maple. I don't need cheese. Um, I don't need parsnips. I don't need blueberries because we just made jam. Um, I do like the redwood, but that's ten. And the K-pop is nine. I have parchment. I have cabbage. So at this time, there's nothing I can get from him, but he will recycle in one more day. So we'll check that in a couple days. Um, can't sell pumpkins because we haven't found pumpkin seeds. We don't have that. Um, can't obviously we don't have um, salt. We don't. We can't give him any bags because we just made R four, and that's all the linen we have at the moment. I mean, we do have more flax coming in, so maybe later in the future I can possibly make um, some of these. But right now, no. Um, it is going to turn nighttime, but I can do a little bit of excavating of mines. Um, but let's go ahead and just collect some cattails since we're right next to him. Um, and it's ready. Um, we need to we need to prepare this um, for when we're caving. Um, like I said, we're gonna make our little Enula farm, and we're gonna um, basically we're gonna make our own poultices with the Enola and the the reeds. And these are dill. So I don't I don't believe we have dill. I got dock, um, but I don't have dill. But I don't really care. I'm not gonna plant like every single vegetable that's in the game. Um, if I did it, you know, if I did plant a whole bunch of veggies, it's honestly just for looks because we have the food. Um, I do hunt, um, we do kill bears and wolves all the time. So we do have access to plenty of meats. I don't need these little veggies when I could do meats. Um, cause honestly the meat's going to provide more satiation. So I'd rather do that. If you know what I mean, I'd rather do, uh, the meat. Um, but like I said, we could, I am going to make a little farm with like maybe, maybe a four plot or eight plot of every, every seed that we have in our house, like right now that we have stored up. And that's only, like I said, just for looks. Um, I don't want to harvest this one. Um, I mean, we can't use the translocator. Um, actually it's going to be nighttime and then all the drifters are going to come out soon. Um, it might not be best to be out side at night so i think we might go back in the house honestly um i have i gathered a lot of peat when i did the uh, the pathways where the animals were um let's go check on our little piggies we checked on the sheep i know the sheep are good i just want to see the little piggies you guys because we just got them yes last episode <gasps> oh my god chat they grew up so fast and you know I can't keep them all, right? You guys know that, right? Like, usually you kill them off. Um, you only keep, like, you know, to upgrade them. You keep the the mother and, um, you know, the generations. You, you kill them off. They, you kill off the babies, but you keep the mother and the father. Um, because the reason is, like, number one, meat. But number two, um, um, the fat. Like, people need the fat. Like, in this game, you're always constantly doing fat or using fat. Um, especially if you're making um, armor, if you're doing um, any automation, you're going to need all the fat for all of the automation stuff, especially like windmills and all that kind of stuff. Um, in our case, we were using it for um, oil lamps and um, making our winter clothing. Um, but it's always good to have extra fat if you need to make extra more clothing. Um, so yeah, I didn't realize the pigs were so small and they grew so fast. Okay, well... We wanted to check on them. Um, I really want to go down this um, cave and explore that. Um, let's check on the chickens. Maybe they're less, like, maybe their days of the broodies got a little less. Because, look, we did give them food. Um, so, okay, yes, it did work, chat. It was, remember, this was four days. It's three days. And this was, um, okay, this was four days. This was three days. Now it's one day. So, I guess, chat, they did need the food. Because, look at, when you hover over the females... Not the males. 
I can't see because they're all together like dummies. Can you guys move, please? I'm surprised the male's not hitting me. So she, see how when you hover on her, she said, um, portions eaten for. So ready to lay is good. Or ready to lay. So she can brood um, because she's eaten. So I guess, I guess that's true. You have to feed the, um, the chickens. I mean, now I know. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I answered my question. I think I know now. See, over here, with all of, um, let's go ahead and fill this, um, I don't like the holes in there. Um, with all this little, little lake that we have here, I can definitely, um, put in some, um, some baskets. And I forgot, I mean, it's pretty, current rift activity is low, but there isn't drifters out, so I think I will harvest a little bit more cattails. Um, because we do, like I said, we need them. We're gonna need them because I want to make. If we're gonna do caving, I have to have poultices. So, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start our farm, our Enola farm, um, so we can basically keep harvesting that all the time. So we'll constantly have poultices all the time. But I need to harvest these cattails. Definitely could use some grass too. Um, I'm out of grass because I've been feeding all the animals, the sheep and the pigs. Um, I do have a scythe, but I just don't have it on me right now. But let's just get the cattails for now. I don't want to waste my knife on that. I mean, my knife is about to break here. It's like, it's like a third, a third left. Um, I mean, it's not dead, but it's a third, only a third left. So I, I probably should just use it just for harvesting or collecting reeds or whatever. Not, not for grass. I can use a scythe for grass. I just honestly wanted the reeds. I think there's more reeds over here by the water. Yeah, where the chickens are. Yeah, see, there's more. I have to be careful though, because, you know, a bear could just... Is that a is that a wolf? Oh, that's a fox. Okay, I thought that could have been a wolf, but yeah, it's a fox. I haven't seen that many. We don't have very many foxes. We have a lot of rabbits and we have raccoons, and obviously bears and um, wolves. But we don't have a lot of foxes. I don't see lots of foxes, or in that case, a lot of raccoons either. So I'm just gonna collect reeds. Um, we have almost a stack. Which is great. But like I said, there's a lot of reeds over here. Like I said, I need to probably harvest them and put them closer because I'm I'm having to run all the way out here when I can have them a lot closer by our house. But I'm just trying not to... You know, I don't want to waste my knife to harvest them. So I'm just kind of like just picking them up, up again. I guess. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, I, it's not too far from the house. I could run over here. It's just killing time until the daytime. But yeah, we've done quite a bit on our place. I mean, it's starting to look nice. The inside of the house looks great with the flooring. Um, not yet ready to do like the house house part yet. Um, still collecting materials, obviously. Um, that's why I said I wanted to scavenge the ruins, but not at nighttime. Because I, I need to see if like a wolf or a bear is going to come running up at me. You know what I mean? I don't really like, I mean, I shouldn't even be doing this at the nighttime because it's kind of scary. But I am doing it just because it's like calm and I don't hear any wolves or any bears. But it doesn't mean that a bear won't run up on you just because you don't hear them. I mean, sometimes you hear them growling, but I don't see any. I know I killed three of them and then one before... I, we got on, and then one while we were both on the game together. Remember, in, after, remember while we were in the storm, the medium storm, a bear came just like charging at me and slapped me, and I basically died. So yeah, it's pretty much you kill a bear, and here comes another bear. 
So that's what I'm saying. Since we killed one, I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised if another one spawned in. And because our world is so small, um, it doesn't take us long before we realize that there's another bear. So, kind of like the wolves. Like, I'll kill a pack of wolves, like five of them. And then guess what? The other, Another five is, like, right next to my house. But this is good. We're getting all the cattails. Um, we have about a stack and a half, which is great. I'm just trying to get the ones right here. And then we're good. Because so we, got, we got a lot now. So anytime we see the Inula, we got to collect that. Because that's going to be our... Um, that's going to be our healing potions. This is chicory. I don't need that. If you're not Enola, I don't want to. I think we got pretty much the, the reeds that were, you know, by the water and stuff. And this is right by our house, so that's why I didn't mind, you know, getting it. It was very quick and simple to get. So we got the ones that were here, you know, right by the home. And then... See, it's good that I put the little lights by the water so we can always check on the fish. And the baskets. I'm constantly checking the baskets because they always give shells. I'm not really too worried about the fish. Um, I only check it um, once in a while. Honestly, I just want the... Um... See, if a fish goes in these, I need to harvest it because I want them out so I can collect more things from it. Like gears and... Um... Like I said, shells. I pretty much want the shells because we're going to... That's why I want to do more baskets because we need all the shells we can get for the lime. So I think we'll stay in the house for now. I mean, we have 10 limes, so it's kind of like we're a fifth of the way. Um, so you never know. Like I said, if the trader sells it, that would be really helpful. Uh, but but we can't rely on it. That's the thing. That's why we need we need to do as many baskets. So that way, because we can't rely on the trader, we're gonna have to make our own our own way of getting our um, lime. And the best way to do that, like I said, is with the baskets. So um, with the baskets, you're gonna need to make um, cordage. You're gonna need four for one basket. So that's why you put your reeds in the top left corner. And that'll give you one cordage. Um, so that's why I kind of wanted to collect some of those. Not only for our uh, poultices, but for uh, for the basket. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it made me 12. So that will make us um, three, which will help. Um, let's go ahead and get some sticks. Let's go ahead and put our grass away. So it's going to make three, right? So you're going to put the sticks in the corner like this. Because I'm not going to use all the um, reeds. I just wanted to make a few, I said. Like, I wanted to make more. And then you're going to do it like this. That's going to be the pattern that you want to make in your grid to get the fish basket. So we're going to get three. And we are going to definitely go outside and place them. That way, the sooner the better. Um, you know, that way, the sooner the, the sooner you place them, the sooner you're going to hopefully catch the gears and um, the stuff. And for the baskets, you can definitely use fruit. Um, you can use meat. Um, you can't use um, the fish on the baskets, unfortunately. Um, I am going to put some... Because we need food on us. I'm just going to put that on us. But I, I'm going to go get some berries. That's like the best, easiest thing. Uh, actually, you can use veggies. Um, I might as well. Because just because we have so many and I'm not going to use them all. And I don't want to waste it. Might as well. Okay, so those have bait 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 right so we're gonna go ahead and we'll put another one here see it's it's spaced off from that so you put that there put in your bait right 
Then we'll have another one over here. Um, yeah, it needs to it need no, it needs to be right it needs to be right here, right? So that way, um, you know, it's it's really all close to home, and I could basically check these every day very quickly. You know, just take a quick peek and you know peek peek inside and make sure that they all have bait or whatever every day. And I'm going to close this up. That way when you're running from, from here, um, it just doesn't need to, just to kind of give a little pathway. Okay, it's one in the morning. Okay, so they all have bait. Okay. And, okay, so it looks like a raccoon died and tripped my thing. See, that's why I love, that's why I love these um, traps. It really helps. And the raccoons and rabbits are dumb and they keep, you know, messing up the traps. So we're keep, we keep getting, um, we're getting meat, we're getting bones, we're getting fat, especially from... I actually like the raccoons. They, they give a potential fat. Um, the rabbits don't have fat, but the raccoons do. But they basically give you the hides. See, we got fat. You get the hides and you get the the fat and the meat, which is great. I like getting the meat because the meat that I get, the bush meat, I usually turn around and use them for the traps um, because bush meat's really tough. And I'd rather have the red meat to cook with and then use my berries or bush meat for the... Um, traps um speaking of traps i could probably add more of these too so we got the other ones in the the fish baskets are for the water these ones are for the land so i probably could make some more of those as well can probably do that too see i love the paths you, you could walk and run so fast on those it's pretty awesome pretty awesome so yeah, we don't have a lot of honey. We only have 2.2 liters and it's going to require um, pretty much that 2.2 liters is enough for one croc. Um, because if you do four, four, if you do eight berries for the croc, um, you're going to need um, 0 0.08 liters on each um, slot. So that's going to be a total of 1.6 for your honey. We have 2.2, so we only have enough for one. Um, so, so yeah, so we don't have enough, um, but the thing is, I don't really, actually, I don't need to go crazy for the honey, actually. Um, I could always drink this and eat this by itself. That way it doesn't go bad as well. Um, honestly, I think I'm okay with jam. I don't think I need to make more jam. Never mind. We have all of this. And like I said before, I don't know how far or how many more episodes we're going to have of this game left only because we're pretty limited to what we can do um because like you guys know this is a restricted limited game world we we don't have any honey or i mean we don't have resin so we can't do automation we don't have bees so we can't do our own bee bee you know like beekeeping area um we don't really have access to a lot of ores um our world is small you know, we have all the terra preta, but we don't really have wild seeds um, everywhere. And I think the reason behind that is because I'm using the Wildcraft um, mod, like I said previously. Um, so instead of getting wild seeds, we're getting wild crops, like wild vegetables. So I think that's what it is. Um, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, but we're not going to die because we keep killing um, wolves and bears and rabbits and other things. So we have access to meat. So it's not like we're starving, obviously. So we're doing okay. Um, it is going to get... It's about 3.30. It's going to get daylight here soon. What we could do is we have the red clay, remember? Um, I do I do want a at least one oven. Um because we don't have an oven. We definitely don't have an oven. And I would, I would honestly wouldn't mind an oven. Um, we used a lot of the fat um, 
for my oil lamp. So now I have to restock our supply. Um, that way, oh no, we didn't just use it for, well, we did use it for the oil lamps, but I forgot we also used the fat to seal all those crocs. So each one of my crocs that I'm using is one fat. So we did eight things of um, honey. So that means I used eight of that as well. So I forgot. I was like, why? I was like, we had 30, over 30 fat. I, I was like, where did our fat, or where did our fat go? So yeah, so we made oil lamps all over our home, all over our home area. And then we did all the crops. So that's kind of why we're running low, but it's okay. We're good now. We have enough lighting now. So that's awesome. I mean, I'm actually really happy we have all that lighting. Like, we don't have to be in the dark and we don't have to be scared. Um, so let's go ahead and start on the... We don't have to finish it, but let's start it since it's... Um, it's only like four in the morning and we can't really do anything. Let's go ahead and select our clay oven. It will take up, um, it might take up more than one, a little bit extra. So let's just take a half stack. I can't remember how much it takes, but it takes quite a bit. Okay, let's bust this out, get it out of the way. I'm gonna push F. So yeah, I think the I think the clay oven is pretty cool. Um, one thing that I do like about it, um, if you don't already know, um, with most pottery stuff that you do here in Vintage Story, you know how you have to put it through a process in the kiln, and you have to fire it up. Well, you actually don't have to fire up the clay oven. Surprisingly, um, I would have thought that the game would have like made you fire it up, but you don't have to fire this up. You pretty much just make it. And then you go ahead and um, you get to place it right away. So after you make it, you can pretty much do your breads. Um, you know, you could do your pies, whatever. Um, I don't really want to... Um, because we don't have very much grain, I want to kind of save it for the chickens so they can keep having babies. You know? Because apparently they need the food so they're ready to mate. Then when they're, um, then when their nests, when they lay their eggs, I guess to be broody, they have to be happy, meaning they have to be fed. So now we know that. Um, so you always have to have grains for the chickens. So that's why you always want to do flax because you get quite a bit of flax or it, not just, it doesn't have to be flax. It could be rye. It could be spelt. Um, just any type of those grains, you're going to get a lot of return back when you do the grains. Um, and that's perfect though, because honestly that feeds your chickens. You, I mean, you can also give it to your sheep as well. So like if you have an excess of grains and your chickens are okay, you can definitely, if you don't want to feed them grass, you can definitely give your sheep and um, pigs the grains and honestly they'll, they'll eat it up. Um, but I usually, especially in our situation, um, because we are low on grains, I wouldn't dare try to give it to our, um, you know, our pigs and stuff. I would probably just save it for the chickens. Sorry, chat. My thing froze up. The internet was like down for a second. It's it's okay now, but it was down. I was like, what's going on? Okay. It had a minor, a minor delay. Okay, so this clay oven's almost done here. It looks pretty cool too. I really like it. It looks pretty awesome. And it's so nice that you can copy and like not have to do every single square. It's so nice, trust me. It's so nice. It really helps. I mean, as far as saving time. Some people don't mind it, though. Like, some people want to do it, you know, singly, whatever. And that's fine. Like, if you enjoy it or you have the time, do it. But for people that don't want to sit here and do every voxel, it's nice to skip it and just copy. I mean, I find it. It's relaxing. It's fun. Kind of like panning. Honestly, I do like panning. Um, only because it's like a mystery and you don't know what you're going to get when you do the panning. So that's why I like panning. Um, a lot, Like I said, a lot of people think panning is boring or a waste of time. But I don't. 
Um, I do get a lot of useful things out of it. I love the candles. I love any of the copper um, spearheads I get. Um, the ores. Um, it's just really helpful. Like Especially in our situation where we've already went through and collected all, all of the ones that we know of. We've gotten all of our copper. We got all of our tin. So for people like us or in our situation where we don't really have access to a lot more um, copper locations. Honestly, your best bet would be to, um, you know, pan the gravel and the, the sand. Cause honestly you will get copper. Like I was getting a lot of copper, especially in the beginning of the game when I only had 18 pieces and I ended up with 19. Um, yeah, it really, it really helped out. I mean, cause we, we didn't even, we kind of skipped, like I said, we skipped the copper. We pretty much went to the tin um, because I already had the tin collected. And then I, all I needed to do was um, get some copper. And then from there, we were able to smell our tin, tin stuff. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. So we kind of skipped the copper age. We kind of went straight into the tin bronze because as you can see, we have the tin bronze anvil. We didn't even make the copper anvil. We didn't even need to. We just skipped it. Which is kind of cool. Because some people don't skip it. They actually make every one. Like they'll do their copper one. Then they'll finally find tin. And then they'll do their tin. But us is like nope. Straight straight to tin. Tin bronze. Okay what's going on now? Yeah, It's getting a little laggy. Okay so I think our clay oven is done now. We're almost done. Yay, it's done, chat. Look at this. See, so it took a stack, and I had, what, 32? So a stack and three pieces, I guess? So yeah, like I said, it's a little over a stack. So you always want to make sure you have more than one stack. Oh, no, I'm sorry. A stack and um, five pieces. So one stack and five pieces. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move um, the bucket because this is actually for my oven. I only put the bucket there because we didn't have the clay oven at the time. Look at that chat. That's a nice little kitchen area, isn't it? A nice little setup. Oh, chat! I love it! I know the trader... Um, see, now it's daylight. We can definitely check on our baskets. Um, I know that the trader probably would take some bread, but like I said, with our situation... We have to be very scarce and very careful with our grains because that has to go for the chickens. Um, I'm not really too worried about, I guess, doing getting the feathers and making the bow and arrow, I guess. I'm okay with just, um, honestly, I like spear hunting and I like using my, um, this, I like using my fox blade to, to kill. Um, so I don't feel like I really need... Um, I don't feel like I really need the bone arrow, so it's fine. Um, so we'll just keep the bucket there, and we got the, um, this here. Um, let me see here. We could do a couple cool things. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and make a couple tables. That way, we can kind of feel cool. And plus, if you do pies, you kind of want to set them down. Kind of like not too close you know like close to the kitchen but not like too close okay i think we should have three we should have one more i think we should have one more for sure it will just look way better and it matches like because of the three three oven well there i mean there's four well there's one oven but like there's three stove tops um, but I, I don't think I need four because I need access to like walk walk around. Um, but yeah, we have we have this. Um, this kind of looks like a little if you put like like a little bowl like you put your fruit on it. So we'll just put that there. And this just to keep it out of the way. I mean that could just go here. It's fine. That that'll be fine. There, so I can still I can still walk around. You know what I mean? Like I'm not claustrophobic like I still have space um, so that's that's fine 
Okay, let's see here. So, these are the chairs. Um, I don't want the linen ones, I want just, um, I want like the regular chairs, like just the wooden chairs, nothing um, fancy. The plain ones. Oh, you still need that? Really? I could have sworn you could make them without the linen. I could have sworn. Plain. Brown. Are they literally all... They all have to have that? Are you kidding? It used to be you could just do a chair. Because I don't have that. I don't have cloth. Hmm. I could have sworn you could make a white one without without the. Are you kidding me? I thought you could. Let me try something. Wow, you're not kidding. You have to have the cloth. Okay, well that that's definitely stuck. <laughs> well, we got the table. Whatever. We don't need no we don't need no damn chairs anyways. We could make little stairs and use that as a um to use that as a little table a little dinner table So we don't have much time left. We're just gonna we're gonna check on our um, baskets. I'm gonna grab some berries just in case I need to, you know, fill them up. Like if I harvest something out of it, I have to fill it up. If there's something in there, okay, nothing, nothing. I don't like I said. I don't care about the fish. have to put more food the fish are taking or whatever they're stealing they're stealing our bait guys they're not supposed to steal they're supposed to give us um they're supposed to give us something in return like we're supposed to get um we're supposed to get like gears and um i want the i want the shells honestly i want the sh effing shells i think i know where one shell is um we can go grab that show. Um, I wanted to harvest from the other ruin. Um, um, I'll show you where that is. So you had the translocator, right? That one. There was the little ruin that way. Um, but I want to get the shell. The shell is over here where I saw a bear a long time ago. Oh shit, you guys. Speaking of bloody bears, instead of a black bear, there's a big brown bear. And if I don't kill him, you know he's gonna you know he's gonna kill all of the sheep around here. Okay, here we go, chat. Is he still chasing my ass for you? <gasps> oh shit, chat. Oh, he didn't hit me, but it definitely scared me. I couldn't tell if it was like still chasing me. You know how they get lazy, right? You know how they get lazy and then they they just they lose interest. So, of course, I didn't hear him. So, where did he go, chat? Oh, now he wants to be lazy. Really? Really? Well, I have to kill him. You know, you know how it is. It's like every episode, it's like killing wolves, killing bears, freaking storms. Every freaking um, game. 
Yeah, chase me, sucker. Okay, here he goes. He's he's gonna die now. He or she, I don't care. You gotta throw them fast because they will run away. Oh shit, chat. That's it. That's it. Um, it's probably almost dead. I mean, if I go down there, I'm obviously going to get a swipe or two, but I can't get my... I can't get those... Um, see, I guess the arrow would help out. I can't get those unless the bear moves. Okay, I can't reach it. So, if it moves, yeah, maybe. See, it, it it's trying to trick me. He, it's pretending it's going to leave, but you see how it comes right back. Not very sneaky. Thinks he's sneaky. Not very sneaky. I mean, unless I go down the ladder and like kind of hit it with the dead with the knife, I maybe can do that. Yeah, but see, it keeps coming. See, it's not exactly reaching the bear. I do want my um, spears, though. See, it's not... I don't know why it's not reaching the bear. It looks like it is. I guess I got my... See, it was just, it was just one hit, guys. I mean, he did take, like, half my life, but I should be fine. I'll heal up. Over time. But yeah, we got to kill a female bear. Yay! What's new? Bears. I mean, we're always killing bears. Right, chat? Okay, I want to I wanna empty this inventory. That way we can go and um, get that shell. We don't have very much time. I got to end this episode. Wrap it up. But you guys know that you guys could always come back for the next episode. So let's go ahead and empty this stuff. But I think it looks nice adding... We added the oven, guys. We added the, the table. I think it looks nice. See, we got 19 pieces of meat from that... Um, from that bear. I mean, that's honestly, that's that's great. And my copper, um, two of them are going to die here soon, but we have two more good ones. And then our copper, like I said, oh, I thought we had two stacks. Okay, we have three stacks and 37. So we definitely, um, on the next episode, we can go ahead and smelt more tools. Um, my tin bronze scythe is almost dead. Um, I could make, maybe, instead of wasting our tin bronze, I could make a couple um, copper, axe, um, copper pickaxes. I can make another um, another one of these shears. Oh, I would like another knife. And um, I think... Um, so, besides a knife, I would want maybe a couple more of these copper spearheads. Um, that would be great, because, you know, we are killing a lot. Um, so, I feel like it would be great and very useful to have more um, copper spearheads. Because, you know, like I said, you can get them by... Um, panning but it's not guaranteed and you could do honestly a lot of panning and might not even get you might not even get lucky and get a um, copper spearhead so um, I want to go where I saw the bear before and there was a shell I'm not really sure where it is I know it's in this um, look yeah it's right here where the gravel is Okay, so see, if the bear was here, he would have murdered all of these um, um, sheep. See here, the shell right there. The purple one right there. Um, I do want to, like, check out these the caves here. Um, not, not right now on this episode, um, but I, I would like to later. I want to get that shell, because you know how I said lime is very valuable in this game for us. I, I mean, it's just it's hard to get, you know? Whoa, I picked up the shell in the gravel. 
not surprising. But we have another show. Um, I haven't seen any other shells, so I just know of this because I took a picture of a bear and the shell just happened to be in the background. So that's the only reason why I knew it was there. We don't need chicory. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of harvesting of the building materials on the other side. Um, but we can also look if there's any copper because there's a lot of stone here. Like I said, I want to go inside these caves um, on another time. Um, since we can't do a translocator, might as well look at our caves, right? There is our beautiful meteorite that we can't get. Um, just looking if there's any, you know, like ores, like copper sticking up. Um, there's some sedge, um, celery, I don't need that. Um, so let's go over to that small ruin and we'll just, we'll just excavate and get, um, what's little left over. I think it's, I believe it's slate. Um, that's the one that was over there. The, the little ruin that was, um, over, it was right over, I, I, obviously I, I dug it out. Um, the one that was over here, this one was granite. And then this one over here is andesite. And then this one, that ruin was slate. So, and then the big one, the big one over there is, um, church. So honestly, we actually had a pretty good mix of, um, building materials. Um, you know, the one with the big ruin, that's going to have a lot of church. So that's very useful. Um, if I need more reeds, there's a lot, uh, more reeds here. Oh, there's more mushrooms spawned in, um, I'd like to go grab the other mushrooms. Remember, we only have like two pieces. Um, they remember how we harvest them right here. They grew back. Um, I'd like to keep a stock of this. That way we can make some mushroom with meat. Um, you know, red meat stew with some mushroom puff balls. Wasn't this, was this a cave? I can't remember. Yeah, and I marked it. Yeah, we got to be careful. My ass be falling in those damn caves. Oh, you guys, look. There's the Enola, the one that we need. We need to collect a lot of these and build a nice farm of these. So I'm going to harvest these. Every two every two pieces that you get will make... Um, so of course I get three, right? Or oh, four. Okay. So every two is going to make um, one seed. So we got two seeds. So I'm very happy with that. Got, I mean, we got a little bit of good stuff. We got our crops. We got our shell. I got basically three shells today. A starfish, a regular, like, a latte conch, and then we got one of these, a dark purple one. So basically, we got three shells. That's six lime. You really can't complain. That that's pretty damn good when considering we don't really have lime in our area. I can also harvest some of this um, gravel um, because I like to do panning, like, by myself, like, off camera. Uh, I don't put you guys through that, but I usually show you guys um, what I get or I tell you um, the next time that you're on when I do, after I do get it. I can definitely um, show you guys. I'm grabbing all these berries um, just because of free food, but also um, I use it for my, my traps. I use it to eat with. I don't need any clay. Um, we already made our oven. We already made, I mean, if I need more crocs or or bowls, I can make more. Um, I'm gonna collect a little of this gravel over here, only because I could use this for panning. Because I don't really, I don't really have much sand um, left at the house because I did pan. I didn't do all the sand, but I did like 16. I told you. Um, so I did quite a bit of panning, and I don't want to break this because that'll break the bush. It will actually fall down and break, disintegrate, or whatever. So you gotta go around it. You can get I can get these ones though. What I could do is pull out my um, my inventory, right, chat? And since I don't want to waste my space, because we're gonna go harvest the ruin, I'm gonna put some stuff in my. Um, in my chest just you know to get out of the way like the stuff that I'm not needing or using like um, 
I think that gravel is enough for now. These I'll put there. This I need, obviously. This. 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 We're gonna need that shovel. Uh, we'll keep that on us. So I think that's good for now. Okay, let's get a little bit of stuff and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode. So we're going to go to the room and that's right here, which, like I said, I had to punch what I could. You can see that I left the dry stone because you cannot punch that. You need at least a copper tool to break it. So that's why you still see these left. Um, these are great. I'm going to grab these. And then we need to dig down and see if there's anything, um, you know, because remember we didn't have a pickaxe before. So I didn't really um, harvest this stuff. So we can see what we can find. I mean, like I said, there's not much of this left. I did most of it, what I could. Um, but I wanted to come back and do the rest, you know, obviously. Because I wanted the dry stone. But I also wanted to tear apart this ruin and make sure that we're not missing anything valuable that is hidden. Like, underneath this dirt could be um, stuff. And I don't know what stuff because I haven't dug it out. And I don't want to get the the gravel part. Okay. So let's just kind of see what is hidden. If there is anything hidden. Um, I don't even know if there is anything hidden. But I mean, it was a ruin. I mean, I, I believe I got, got some bony soil, but... I don't know. I don't think there is anything under here. Maybe it was just that small ruin. Um, we can try digging. I mean, it could have been a waste of time. I don't see, like, I don't think there would be a hidden ruin down here. I mean, that's why we're checking, but I don't see anything. I just see granite, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything, honestly. I thought maybe there could be something, because this was a ruin area, and usually you have to dig underneath the dirt. Um, to, you know, to expose the hidden, um, rooms down below. But it doesn't look like it, chat. Um, I don't want to fall in this, so I'm gonna close it up. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to check. And I'm not seeing anything. Um. Not seeing anything. Rock, rock. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. I'm just getting this because that's shell rock. Um, that's gravel. I don't care for the gravel. Um, and then this is just all blue clay. Um, I guess I can harvest a little bit from the translocator area because that is building materials. <gasps> Chat! Freaking wolves, are you kidding me? There was just a bear there. Now there's wolves by our... Is that a bear or a wolf? I can't tell. God. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a bloody bear. Oh, it's a wolf. I see a daddy and a mommy and a baby. Dang it. Why did they have to be there when I want to harvest the ruin? My goodness. They just have to be in my way. Well, I'll just stay down here. This is great because this is cobble. And remember, I haven't dug down on this one. I mean, I'm getting this to expose everything that's below. There might not be anything because we're already exposing the dirt. But you never know. Sometimes there is stuff. And I don't know because I didn't dig it out. Because I'm just now doing it. Because we didn't have a pickaxe before, so I didn't bother. I'm just getting this because we could definitely use this. I mean, our translocator is pretty much useless. Um, so this will just be like an open, open dead ruin because we're just take we're excavating all of the, the stone from it. I mean, at least on the bottom part. <sighs> it is kind of sad, but whatever. It is what it is. 
there could still be stuff down below me. Probably not, but I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, I'm getting a lot of, um, getting a lot of cobble out of it, so I'm happy. Okay, we're not full. Yeah, wolves, I know you're there. That's nice. Shut up. Oh, I think it hears me. I'm making noise. Shut up. Not scared of you. We don't have any food yet. Definitely need to go back home. This is sad chat. It's just gonna forever warping space time. It's never gonna like get done. There's the baby. I don't know where they actually went. Yeah, I know that they were trying to like eat me. I can hear them. Oh, they're right there. Oh, really? You wanna come up here? Really? Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. Yeah, you go running off really quick. Our inventory. I gotta open up the inventory. So I can pick that up. So we can pick up the meat and stuff. Oh, don't worry, you're gonna die. I just have to pick up my torches. Yeah, bye bye. And get your baby too. Where'd the baby go, chat? gonna follow that sound. Okay, where'd that sound go, Chen? Which way? I mean it's hard to see it's dark, so I don't know I don't know where it went, Chet can't see with I mean especially with this grass I don't know unless I go on top to see where it went unless it's stuck maybe it got stuck because it's little I think it's right here where I am is it stuck can it not jump where is it chat I mean if I don't get it in daytime I'm I mean nighttime I'm gonna get it in the daytime I see it. It's just hard to see at night. I heard it crying. It's because it's looking for its mom, but it's dead. It usually stays around where the parents were, but it might run away. I don't see it. We killed bears, we killed wolves. I think it's down here, it got stuck. Yeah, see? It's gonna die now. 
I know, I'm sorry. You're not gonna give me anything, so. I kinda figured you fell down. You're just really worthless. You don't give nothing. Bye. Can I continue what I was doing? Yeah. Before I was interrupted by your parent. Just trying to get all this stuff. See, if the animals fall in here, they might not, you know, besides right here, but like they'll get like stuck, you know? I mean, I don't know if there's anything down here. Let me see. I'm not talking about right here, but like down in the dirt, like if I dig down. Well, of course there's more wolves. Of course. Of course. Um, so, you know, this is the room, right? And then I never dug down here. Um, so I'm not sure if there's, like, not any underground. Okay, it looks like there's just the granite. Um. I mean, I did get all the bony soil I could. This could be all, but you never know. Yeah, there's probably nothing there. But, you know, you never know. You gotta check sometimes. You never know. I'm just gonna seal that up. Because that was just cobble that I got before. But I'm just getting this because I already have it in my inventory. Or on me. Might as well, right? I mean, I am collecting materials. And I obviously can't reach that. It's too far. I mean, it, at least, you know, translocator can't work, but at least I'm getting free material. My ass is stuck down here now. Well, not really. I can be, I can be sneaky and, um, you know, put um, a dirt ladder up. That way when animals fall in here, they can't get out. But I can get out if I use a ladder system. So, I could always do that. I mean, I could still get to my translocator by the ladder. I mean, why am I saying that? Yeah, we can't use it. Okay, so I need... I need my basket, because I'm really, really full. So I can pick up some stuff. Not like we can use the translocator, so. And it's uh, it's high on the top, anyways. It's on top of that wooden thing. This is just extra material just sitting there. Might as well get it. crazy. 
But it's a lot of material, guys. A lot of useful um, building materials. I mean, whether I use them or not, it's not the point. It's just the point that I'm collecting them, so in case I did decide to use it, you know what I mean? I don't know what I'm going to use, but it's nice. Honestly, like I said, it's nice to have options. Because I don't know what I want to do, exactly. So, that's why I'm getting everything I can. I mean, a lot of things can be useful, like stairs are useful. Uh, especially when you're building a home and stuff. A lot of the building stuff is pretty useful. Got quite a bit of stuff on me. Don't want the boulders. We didn't get much on the other um, ruin, but we pretty much grabbed all of this stuff. Looks like. Yeah, because my inventory is pretty full. Um, I don't need those stones. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was picking this up. There we go. I'm gonna pick that up, obviously. We're not gonna leave that. And I don't have any food on us, so... Definitely need to go home. But, because we still had a couple inventory spots, I wanted to grab this. Um, the aged... Anything that's aged wood is very hard to get. Um, you can't craft it, so just want to have it for my collection whether I use it or not it's still you know like I said very nice to have can still do a few little decorating ideas with that um, with the aged wood um, probably be best to go up and then break what I need um, honestly like I said we can't use the um, the translocator or we don't need this area right here because this is we can get up through um i mean honestly i might break i might break that because there's no need of that we, we can't use it um we, we really can't use it so i don't know now i broke that and i don't have my basket out now like like we have this to get up there to break that stuff but we don't need all of this right here that's just sitting here we can definitely break this and take it home with us because we already have the planks i already took some so might as well take it all right why not don't want to waste nothing I feel kind of sad, honestly, but it is what it is, right, chat? Like, we can't, we can't even use this locator. Like, it's just, it's sad. So, what is the point of it sitting there for nothing when, when I can take it? Can't use it. Yeah, I picked up those damn stones. I don't need. Okay, we're gonna go home so we can save this dang game.
think we got we got everything right. I mean, besides that. Yeah, I think we can go home now. We need, um, we need food. We need to eat and save the game. But yeah, I definitely want to explore, um, later chat. Now that we've, um, done some stuff around the home. We got situated. Uh, let's go ahead and empty our inventory and then see what we can... If there's anything in the baskets before we before we save the game, there could be something in the baskets. Maybe some more. We need food. We were starving. All that all that hard work we did made us really hungry. Yeah, we got we got hungry from all that mining. Let's put some of our stuff away. So we got a lot of this stuff. This is all the andesite stuff. And then this is wood. We got a lot of slabs. Um I need this for grass though. And we don't have very much wood, so we can do that for sticks. This can be for miscellaneous um, wooden, uh, you know, wooden building um, blocks, whatever. We need to get our storage. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away. Like all of the similar stuff. I try to keep it pretty organized. So we got lots. Lots of building materials. Um, oh yeah, this is gravel because I wanted to pan with that. Put that here because we're em we're emptying our inventory. Remember, we got a shell. Hey, we have we have this. Is that? Oh, that's dry stone, and that one is cobblestone. Okay. I want to do this for the line. So I hope we can get some more shells um, from the baskets. We need to make our little farms. We'll do that later. So we have a little- I have plaster, I have a little bit of granite sand, and then I have a little bit of granite gravel. If I decide and I get bored and I want to pan, I can do that off camera. By my stand. So you guys don't have to sit through all that boring stuff. I don't think it's boring, but you guys might think it's boring. I mean, it does take up a lot of time, so I would prefer not to do it on camera. But I can definitely show you guys what I get. You don't have to worry about that. I'll definitely show you guys. I'm just not going to put you guys through it. Okay, so that's empty now. Let's go ahead and pick this up. So remember, we always want to make sure we have it on us with us when we're 
Um, especially if we're going to do some cave um, exploring. I want to make sure that we have it on us. Let's go ahead and just check the baskets before we save the game. Because you never know in an instant. See, the, see, there's a fish there, but um, it could have been a shell. Or, or they, they always take your bait, so you always have to make sure to put more bait. You have a higher chance of getting something if there's bait. I don't care about the fish. The fish can sit there and rot. See, they're taking the bait, but where are our star? Where are our fishies in our in our um, shells? You know, I want the shells, all the shells. See, look at that! All of our bait is gone. Look at that! They're steal the fish are stealing our bait, but they're not giving us anything in return. Nasty fish! I need to make more baskets with the reeds. Um, I want to put this is. We can probably put couple more like yeah a couple more um but we have more room in this this lake right here um to add more um to add more fish baskets so yeah that's definitely going to be useful right here to do more baskets but we'll deal with that later because now it's time to save the game I really love our oven, guys. It's really, really nice. It's really, really nice, and I love our little, um, our little tables as well. Well, guys, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this episode. If you did like it, please show your support by liking my channel, turning on notifications, and subscribing if you have not already done so. Until next time, you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.